Hello everyone. In this video, I will guide you on how to use logical operations in R. By the end of this lesson, you will learn to make logical comparisons for decision making. There are two main logical constants in R, true and false, and be mindful of the fact that they are in uppercase letters. They are very essential for making decisions based on certain conditions. Let's go to RStudio and see how they work. So in RStudio, simply type the logical constants true, all in uppercase letters. So when you write this and you go ahead and execute this code, you end up getting true returned in the console. If you also go ahead and write false and execute, you end up getting false. Let me use this opportunity to simply write a comment up here, logical constants. The logical constants are called reserved keywords. Reserved keywords are a set of words that have special meaning within the R programming syntax. So it is very important you avoid using them as variable names for assignment or as any object you personally want to define. Use them for the very purpose that they were created. There are other reserved keywords in R. If you want to know about them, you simply have to run the following code, help, and then place into the parenthesis reserved and go ahead and execute this line of code. And there in the help window, in the help tab, you will simply find all the reserved words that are in R. Now that is part of the base package. In future videos, I will explain to you how this documentation is being read. Let us go ahead and look at the various reserve keywords in R. So you can simply see if, else, repeat, wow, and many more other reserve keywords. So these have very special meaning within the R programming syntax. These logical constants are used with the following logical operators. We have the ampersand symbol, which means and. We also have the vertical bar, or what we call the pipe operator, which means or. We also have the exclamation symbol, which means not. These logical operators and the logical constants can be combined together to make decisions based on certain conditions. Let us use the truth table logic to make sense of how these can be used together. So we do have four columns in the table. We have statement A, statement B, and then we compare the two statements using the AND operator and the OR operator. Now in R, we are going to write the code for the AND operator, which is simply the ampersand, and that of the OR is the pipe operator, just as we saw in the previous slide. So for the second row, what we are simply outlining here is that if statement A is true, and then statement B is also true, then both statements are true, so A and B will evaluate to true. A or B will still be true since any of these two statements is still true. If you come to the third row, if statement A is true and B is false, then both of them cannot be true. And so A and B will evaluate to false. But as long as one of them is already true, in which case, which is the statement A, then A or B is going to be true. Again, when you go to the fourth row, you will find that if statement A is false and B is true, then both of them cannot be true. So A and B will evaluate to false. And because statement B is true, then A or B is going to be true. In the last row, if statement A is false and B is false, then both of them will be false. And A or B is also going to be false. So let's go to RStudio and demonstrate how these work. So in RStudio, we simply demonstrate first the AND operator. So basically, we are just simply going to write true and true and run this code and you realize that we simply get the answer to be true. We also have true and false. You run this code and you get the answer to be false. Let me just go ahead and finish up the code and execute them one after the other to make our point.
Now that we have finished writing the code for both operators, the AND and the OR, let's go ahead and execute them to see how they work. So if statement A is true and B is true, then we simply get true. Both of them will be true. If one of them is false, then we will get the answer to be false. And the same goes for the third code. And the same goes for the last one. So we see that whenever there is a false statement, then using the ampersand operator or the AND operator, we simply get the answer to be false, just like we have seen in the console. Coming to the OR operator, we find that the two statements are already true. So an OR operator simply evaluates to true. True or false, as long as one of them is true, the answer is going to be true. So we execute that and we get the answer to be true. False or true will also evaluate to true. But because here both statements are false, false or false will still evaluate to false. Now you realize that we do have the last operator which we have to demonstrate, which happens to be the not operator where we use the exclamation symbol. So in which case, if you write true logical constant and just before the logical constant, you bring the exclamation mark, essentially all that you are writing is, let me write a comment after it, all that you are essentially writing is not true. So if you go ahead and execute this, let's click the console first before we execute. So if you execute this code, let's click on run here, you realize that the answer simply evaluates to the opposite, which is actually false. So what you are writing here is simply not true. And so that will evaluate to false. Again, if you also write not false, then guess it. The answer is going to be true. So this is all about the logical operations. You might ask yourself, why do we have to learn these logical operations? Eventually, we are going to do something like, for example, 5 greater than 6 and 7 equal to 8. And when we execute this code, we are going to get the result to be false. Don't worry. In the next lesson, we will learn about relational or comparison operators, and we will demonstrate how these logical operations come into play.